Let's start with a wide shot to take in the beauty of Castine and Penobscot Bay. There could scarcely be a better location for Maine Maritime Academy, a school whose mission includes preparing young people to operate the ships found on every ocean on Earth. A fixture on the Castine waterfront is the schooner Bowden, Maine's official state vessel and a floating classroom for Maine Maritime Academy students. Get some sails up, stand by to get underway. In an age when commercial ships are outfitted with navigation and communications equipment so advanced that captains and crews don't even have to look outside most of the time, it's reasonable to ask, what do maritime students learn on this boat that's really useful? A hundred year old vessel takes a lot of work, so they're learning the skills to maintain a vessel, they're learning the importance of caring for your vessel, they're learning the attention to detail that it takes to keep this vessel looking great even after 100 years. So Bailey, leave that one in place. That one will leave until the very last. We'll just take these two. Chief Mate Sarah Martin says the learning here is deep because this is a classroom like no other. A whole world, 88 feet long and 20 feet wide. We have all of our food, we have all of our fuel, we have all of our water, we have all the resources that we need. And the students have this real focus opportunity to really have a sense of ownership over everything to do with their day-to-day -day lives. And it is the most powerful teaching experience I've ever experienced. A key part of the Bowdoin's mystique comes from her history. Explorer Donald McMillan designed the ship to withstand ice during Arctic expeditions. Built in East Booth Bay, she sailed more than 300,000 miles on 26 research voyages to the north. For a hundred years, her current captain says, the Bowdoin has been blessed with good fortune. Oh yeah, we call it McMillan luck, because McMillan had the best luck. Like, all of the scrapes and hard times that the vessel and he's gone through, he's always come out the other end better and stronger. And uh, I think that spirit exists with the vessel still. There are lots of old boats out on the water doing things. You just pull it, it'll come loose. There are very few old boats doing the same thing they were doing a hundred years ago. This boat goes out with students in the same way that Donald McMillan went out with young people who were looking to explore the world and learn new things about what was beyond the far horizon. Sailing on the Bowdoin offers a classical maritime education, seamanship, boat handling, celestial navigation, and more. Student Finn Jordan approves. This is the lowest tech you could be, so these are all the basics. Perhaps just as important as imparting knowledge, the Bowdoin builds character. I love going aloft, um, climbing, climbing these ratlins. Um, uh, I've always loved heights, um, and uh, I feel like uh, tall ships is the place I'm meant to be. When I was a freshman, and I was terrified of heights, and I climbed up into the icebox on one of our day sails, coming down, not really know what I was doing. They're like, yeah, go climb. And I go into the icebox, I saw everything, and I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do. I want to help, and I want to keep sailing. And I did. The students don't take sailing on this schooner for granted. They realize it's something special. Especially when Will sends us an email saying, hey, we need crew for the day, and it's not a normal sailing day, um, I basically make sure I clear my schedule and get out here. The ship goes out regularly, and when in main waters at least, her reputation precedes her. So wherever we go, people know the vessel, they come say hello, they have a story about either being on the vessel or their grandfather was on the vessel. It's really kind of special to have that warm welcome wherever we go in Maine and, and everyone knows us. When the sails are taut and the light is golden and the Bowdoin is running before the wind, it sometimes seems as if nothing has changed on this vessel in the last 100 years and that nothing could be improved upon.